What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome to episode 10 of my Tottenham Hotspur Let's Play here in Football Manager 2017 and today I have for you guys a clash against Manchester United in the Premier League. If you must, missed last episode please do go check it out as always. It was the FA Cup game against Liverpool in the sixth round as well as the Champions League first knockout round second leg against the French side Lyon. So two pretty big games there. It was a longer episode and hopefully that will make up for what will today be a bumper episode where we just have the one game game but it's a big one it's one that has everything riding on it really as far as our title aspirations go and it is at White Hart Lane and it is against Manchester United looking at the Champions League we've been drawn against Barcelona that will be next episode both the home and away leg hopefully we can get a good result there and see ourselves reach the semi-final although to be honest I feel like to reach the quarter-final is still a very very good achievement in this our first season in charge so yeah, Manchester United today, just looking at the Premier League table, you'll see that the top four teams, Southampton, Manchester United, ourselves and Sunderland, all play tonight. It's going to be Sunderland v Southampton and ourselves v Manchester United, so there's a hell of a lot riding on today's game as far as the title race is concerned. A loss for us here would see us move five points behind Manchester United with seven games left and leave us with a monumentous task ahead of us. On the flip side, a win here, and if Sunderland could do us a favour, could see us go top of the table with seven games remaining. So yeah, since the last episode, just two games to tell you guys about. Two wins, two clean sheets. What we really needed after what was a, a little bit of a disappointing spell. As you can see here, we beat West Brom 2-0. A good result away from home, particularly when you consider that West Brom are a very good team this year. They've been doing very well. Um, currently, they sit fifth, in fact, which really gives you an idea of how big that result was. So to beat them 2-0 away from home was mighty, mighty impressive. Of course, our former player, Chadley, not having the desired impact that I'm assuming he would have wanted to have on the game. He actually went off injured in the 75th minute. In the second game we had, it was against Arsenal. It was North London derby. It was a massive game, and it was actually just decided by just the singular goal by Lamella very, very early on into the game. As you can see here, the ball played up. Correa playing out wide, of course, with Eriksen being out injured. And, uh, well, Lamela actually ended up having a really nice finish at the end of what was a good move. I believe it was Berahino with the assist as well. And, uh, well, it wasn't exactly a classic North London derby, but it did ensure we did the double over our North London rivals, which is something I know the fans wanted, and uh, it was good to be able to deliver that to them. So there was the goal. Lamela actually latching onto a Harry Kane pass. Berahino still involved in the build-up play. And, uh, well, you can see, looking at the stats of the game, all in all, we were pretty fortunate, to be honest. But it's a win, nevertheless. It's the three points that matter, and uh, that was a really good result for us. So anyway, let's get into today's game against Manchester United. They're a team that are, or were rather, in very good form. They still are to an extent. They've not lost in the Premier League since the 21st of January. And going back further than that, they've only lost one game so far in 2017. As you can see, looking at their run of games, they've got Leicester in the Europa League quarterfinal. Uh, they've got a few tricky ties coming up. They've got Sunderland... And uh, Southampton, of course, the two teams around us at the top of the table. Um, so they've still got that. On our kind of side of things, you can see looking at our fixtures, uh, we haven't got to play either of those sides. And in fact, after we play Manchester United and Liverpool, we have quite a nice run of fixtures. We have Crystal Palace in 11th, Stoke in 15th, Burnley in 12th, Leicester in 10th, Swansea in 16th, and then Watford on the last day of the season in 7th. So really, we've played a lot of our tricky ties after the next few games. So a win here would put us in what I may well consider to be pole position to potentially win the Premier League this year. So anyway, let's get into today's game. Uh, in terms of injury news, there's no new injuries really to speak of. It's still the ongoing issue, I guess, we've got with Christian Eriksen being out for between five days and two weeks and Eric Dyer out for a similar period of time. Uh, of course, both players with strained knee ligaments. Of course, worth noting that uh, in between kind of this episode and the previous one, there was actually a two-week break at the end of March, which was really pleasant, allowed players to get recouped and kind of regrouped in terms of their fitness. Looking at our fixtures coming up, you'll see that it's a pretty bumper uh, kind of set of fixtures all the way through until the Stoke game. It's going to be tricky to maintain our fitness for all of these games. And uh, it's going to be a bit of a juggling act, I guess, to ensure that we have both a fully fit team and a team with good condition, but also our strongest team on the pitch in the coming games. But anyway, let's submit our team for today's game. It's against Manchester United. As I already mentioned, Sunderland and Southampton also playing tonight. Uh, looking at it here... Um, the pundit says that Manchester United, he thinks, are going to win the game. And the issues that we have with the Ericsson and Dyer injury are going to be blows for us. I, I, he's not wrong. I mean, Ericsson is right up there in the assist table. He may even have the most assists in the Premier League. And so not to have him today 
really is a miss. So hopefully we won't, you know, miss him too much. In terms of our midfield setup, it is a little bit different at the moment in terms of the fact that we are playing with uh, Deli Ali and Wanyama in the center, Berahino on the right-hand side, Musa Dembele down the middle, and uh, then we have Lamella out on the left-hand side of course all lining up behind Kane. But either way, not a bad team talk. Going to be a big game for us here against Manchester United. A very, very good team. They are playing a 4-4-1-1 system, so we are going to have to keep an eye on that. Uh, of course, they've got a very, very strong team as well. Although, I did notice, I believe, uh, the absence of uh, Ibrahimovic. Well, I, I would have checked. I'm pretty sure he wasn't there. Unfortunately for us, Musa Dembele picks up an injury within the first five minutes. A potential arm injury. Not going to be able to continue, unfortunately for us. That is going to mean that Correa has to come into the squad. A player who can very much play in this position but I don't know Moussa Dembele has got a lot of goals for us since Christmas so I would have liked to have had him you can see here looking at the team Wayne Rooney starts with Juan Mata in behind Pogba, Schneiderlin and Mkhitaryan and Shaw actually making up the defence and uh, Shaw playing left midfield which is a little bit interesting but anyway let's make sure we are on key highlights here for some reason my game likes to randomly change to commentary only I still don't know what's causing that issue I think it's to do with watching the replays of matches and maybe quitting out at a certain point in them so um, I do have to keep an eye on that. Either way, it's nil-nil here. Looking at the early stages of the game, we're the team having all the shots. Possession very much 50-50, but United not showing too much going forward yet. And, uh, well, you can see here, kicking off in the other game already, Southampton 2-1 up against Sunderland. Harry Kane coming here forward for us. Hits it straight at De Gea, unfortunately for us in goal, who will clutch onto that. Was a, a perhaps a half opportunity, but uh, didn't really lead to anything. And now, United with a set-piece whipped in. Schneiderlin's there, so sure. Damian, shot blocked by number 20. Who is that man? It's Deli Alley. Uh, with a crucial block there, but the danger may not have passed as now United. They're going to have another set-piece. Juan Mata whips it in. Berahino at the near post. Deals with it nicely, but the ball may still find its way into the middle, and it will do. Loris, though, no nonsense there by the leader between the sticks. He collects the ball, and, um, well, that is the end of that chapter as far as highlights are concerned. That penalty, or sorry, that chance within the penalty area, a good opportunity. We block the free kick there, which is good, because in FM17 so far this year, I've seen a fair few free kicks go in compared to FM17. So whenever I see a free kick goal or free kick replay, I anticipate a goal. It turns out I should have done that anyway. One matter... Gets the goal. It came from, well, an initial set piece by one matter that didn't beat the wall. Unfortunately for us, the ball pinging around. And, uh, well, United find in the back of the net and they strike first in this game. It's been a tight game. Possession's been fairly close. Unfortunately for us, however, um, United strike first in this game. It was... A little bit disappointing all in all. We didn't really deal with the situation at hand. Rooney laid it off to Juan Mata. And uh, I think Lloris perhaps should have done a little bit better here. He probably should have done. It was a, a shot hit with some ferocity. He couldn't get his body behind it. And it found a way through into the back of the net. But 35 minutes gone now. It's still a game that's very much in the balance. It's a shame about the Dembele injury, if I'm honest. Looking at our team, no one really stepping up to the occasion. As I said, this is a game that could very much set the tone for the title race. Losing this would see us lose up to five points ground on Manchester United and perhaps even Southampton if they were to get a result. Uh, so really, we're looking at a minimum of a draw. And well, after this first half performance, we've got a lot of work to do. In the second half, going to try and get the players fired up. Berahino not having the greatest game. I'm going to bring in Sun for him. So already a double change made in the midfield. Perhaps a little bit risky, but I feel like we have to make some changes here. It's just not been good enough in the first half. We'll hold on to our last substitute for as long as we can now, really. Unless we're forced into making it. Just because with, what, 40 minutes left of this game, we may be forced into a change. We may want to mix things up. Ben Davis, long range free kick there. Doesn't beat the wall. Can now we make something happen here? A lot of men committed to the attack. Correa, with the ball up, fell short, however, to the man he was trying to pick out. But we might have another chance here. Deli Ali linking up with Son. Options out on the left. It's Lamella. Harry Kane on ahead. He latches onto the ball. Goes for a long shot. Very ambitious there. Um, and now it's United with the ball. Paul Pogba, one of the best players on the pitch today. Marauding down this right-hand side. Options on the overlap. Lays it inside to Juan Mata. So many men pulled out the game. Juan Mata, lots of grass in front of him. Hits it. Loris with a nice stop there. Was going into the top corner. He did very well to get across to that. A danger may not have passed, however, as uh, United are going to have a few corners here. And it's going to be Mkhitaryan to take it. Can we mark up well here? Lots of options in the middle for United. It's whipped in. Leads to nothing, however. And, well, there is, what, 35 minutes left and we need, to, we need to change things up here. Lamella picking up an injury. That is not what we wanted because it's one of the few positions where I don't really have an option. 
In terms of a player, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to move Deli Ali up to centre attack in mid and bring in Thiago Maia uh, to play deep line playmaker for us, which is really not a role I ever thought I'd have to play him in. Um, but needs must in this game. We've been pretty unfortunate with injuries. It means that all three of our attacking midfielders are not the three attacking mid midfielders who started the game. One of them a forced change, of course. In fact, no, two of them are forced change because of Dembele's injury and now Lamella's knock, which I really don't want to risk. I mean... Looking at the stats here, there's 20 minutes left. We've got to go more attacking. We've got to go more on the front foot. But, I mean, we've not been massively outplayed in this game. It's more so been a case of the fact United took the one chance that came their way. Um, this is the changes we're going to make. We're going to move our inside forwards in, I think. Uh, we're going to tell the players to look for the overlap a little bit more. Less playing out of defence, I think. We've got to play at a higher tempo and perhaps be a little bit more direct with our prey. Uh, a prey? Play. So we'll make those changes there. We're going to stick uh, with a 4-2-3-1 of sorts, but pushing the fullbacks on now. And we are going to have a ch chance. Ben Davis here, inside to Korea. Now with Thiago Maia. He's about to Korea. Options on ahead. Deli Ali gives away the pass there, and now there's a real opportunity for United on the counter. Juan Mata, already one goal to his name, bringing the ball forward. Luke Shaw playing left midfielder, cutting inside here. Lays off to Paul Pogba, who's on a booking. Options on ahead. Wanyama with a nice tackle considering he's on a booking, but it's going to fall to Rooney here, and he's going to rifle it home. Makes it 2-0, and United, they're going to do the double over us this season. They're going to see themselves win two games. We mentioned the fact they are in hot, hot form at the moment, Manchester United. And, uh, well, unfortunately for us, they're too hot to handle. Rooney sledgehammers that ball into the back of the net. A lovely finish there. He goads the crowd. He loved it. I didn't. 2-0. And in our attempt really to uh, seek uh, a chance in this game and seek a goal that would see us go all level, we've left ourselves a little bit too exposed at the back and it's come back to bite us. Unfortunately, really, missing Christian Eriksen is always going to be a massive problem when it comes to creating chances. And, well, uh, the injuries to our attacking midfielders has kind of further compounded that misery. Really now hoping that there's not too many that are long-term injuries there. Unfortunately, however, in this game... Manchester United are going to run out on top. 2-0 victors. De Gea with a late save there. But, well, you look at the stats as a whole. United have more of the ball. They created more chances. That's not to say we didn't have chances out of our own. We just didn't really take the ones that came our way. No one had a great performance, really. Odevireld and Vertonghen didn't play well at centre-back. But, unfortunately for us, it just wasn't enough today. In the other game, Sunderland and Southampton drew 2-2. So, that keeps things pretty tight at the top. Unfortunately for us, Southampton have superior goal difference. Manchester United, five points clear now in very good form. They're going to be a tough team to take over, unfortunately, for us. But anyway, they go top of the table. That's something we would have liked. Lamella out for five to six days. That's going to be problematic, but he may just about be fit for the Barcelona game next week, which is when I'm next going to see you guys. That will, of course, be coming in episode 11, that double header in the Champions League. As always, hopefully you did enjoy today's episode. Not the result we were looking for. It was pretty close all in all. Um, on another day, perhaps we would have got sunk. On another day, perhaps we wouldn't have had the bad luck with injuries. Looks like Moussa Dembele is out with a fractured arm as well. So that's going to be a problem as well. We've got the option to send him to a specialist. I can make him play with protective equipment. That's probably going to be necessary, unfortunately, for us. You can see, looking at the injuries we've got, if Dembele was to be out missing, we're going to have Lamella, Eriksen and Dembele all out, which we really can't have. So we'll have to set him to play through his injury uh, with some protective equipment and hope he doesn't knock it anymore. But yeah, guys, that is going to wrap up episode 10 from me. Hopefully you enjoyed it, as always. Slightly shorter one today, but it kind of leads up to, of course, the big game against Barcelona that will be coming your way next time around. As always, if you did enjoy today's episode, please do smash the like button. If you've got any comments, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. It is me, Jack, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.